This video is to help everybody um, playing violin or viola with vibrato and then cellos I'll have to make another video for you later. So when you do vibrato you want to make sure that like we talked about that you're moving from this part of your arm to your, your whole forearm and actually even probably from your shoulder. So you want to make sure that you're always moving out like this. So if you take your right hand and place it um, on your left elbow like this, you can kind of slowly feel your hand move out and in. It's important when you do vibrato to remember that you're not just moving from here and you never just move from here, from your finger. So you always want to be careful that you do these practicing, like the practicing slowly, so that you can always monitor your hand, okay, and your full arm. So if you can get used to just doing a little bit of this, right, and watch how my wrist doesn't really go out like this, right? I'm not doing that. It's nice and relaxed, but my wrist is a little bit controlled, okay? So you want to practice doing that for a little bit. Then you would go to your instrument, and we're just going to work on vibrato for now. Let's do on the A string, and we're going to just use first finger. So that would make us playing the note B. And whenever you do vibrato exercises, you always have your actual pitch and then your bent pitch. So you'll see um, on the photo that I posted on Google Classroom of the exercises you can do. The first one being you play the, the um, actual note for four whole beats, and then you play the bent note for four whole beats. And the way that you get the bent note is by moving your arm out like this. I know a lot of people tend to play with their fingers kind of, as I try to get the best view for you, um, here up against the fingerboard, right? Which this is why now that becomes a problem. Because in order to do vibrato, you have to be able to rotate back and forth along your fingertip, right? Like this. So not only are you now rotating along this part of your finger on your fingertip, but you're also moving from your whole arm. So you have to be very mindful of that and really focus when you practice. So if you go ahead and play the note B, and then you're going to now move this part of your elbow out that way, like this. So watch that again. You can see this part of my arm moving outward. But as I do that, my finger is also now rotating back, and when I come back to the regular note, it comes back to its original position. If you have to watch very closely as I do this, I'm gonna move my other fingers out of the way so you can see. Right, so now you see that I'm doing this with my finger, but the motion isn't just coming from here, right? That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing this. So that's something that you're going to have to work on controlling so that you can make sure that you're moving correctly from the very beginning of your vibrato exercises. If you start practicing just moving from your finger or just moving from your wrist, you will learn vibrato incorrectly and you won't get the sound that you want. So, um, Vibrato is just kind of like the icing on the cake, right? It's a decoration. It, you shouldn't do it unless you know how to do it exactly. So I would just advise practicing the way I um, kind of posted online. So the very first thing that you would do is you would play the, the regular note for four beats. So in this case, it's B. Two, three, four, and then the bent note for four beats. Three, four, and back. Two, three, four, two, three four and back like that and it's always within the same bow then from there I would move to half notes so now the regular pitch is going to be two beats and the bent pitch is going to be two beats like this ready and bent note regular note bent note Then from there, each note's going to be a quarter note. Ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Then I move to eighth notes, so you have to think one and two and one and two and, and you can hear my voice how I'm going back and forth between those two notes. So listen. And 
Everything's nice and relaxed. My thumb, I don't really have to have my thumb on my instrument in order for me to do vibrato. So you shouldn't be holding your instrument like with the grip of death, right? You shouldn't see white at the tips of your fingers. It should be nice and relaxed and very um, light on the string. Next, you go to triplets. So now you have triplet, 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 triplet. As you do this exercise, this is how it should sound. Ready? And. Then after that, you go to 16th notes. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a, like that. So listen and. And even though it's faster, I'm still moving from here, right? I can, I can feel that here and up here. Next, you would just try to see how fast you can speed up your vibrato so that you don't really hear the bent pitch, but now sounds like um, just an ornamentation on that note, like this. And you can still see I'm moving from this part of my arm. Then you would um, proceed to do that with your other fingers. But for this week, just see if you can experiment doing vibrato with first finger on G, D, A, and E. And viola is obviously C, G, D, and A. Um, and just practice it slowly. I had to practice it slowly, and um, now I can actually play vibrato. But when I can't play violin some days and I go back to playing violin, I have to do these exercises all over just to get used to vibrato. So practice slow, be focused, and um, work on vibrato. Okay? Happy practicing.